a point at 67 inches. Number two, hey. What you know about rolling down in the deep? When your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze. When these people talk too much, put that heat in slow motion. Yeah, I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. Ay, what you know about rolling down in the deep? When your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze. When these people talk too much, put that heat in slow motion. Yeah, I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. What you know about rolling? Welcome to this Thursday night in the NBA, right here on 2K Sports. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Detroit Pistons going up against the Phoenix Suns. Alongside Greg Anthony and Steve Smith with David Aldridge on the sideline, this is Kevin Harlan. DA, take it away. Thanks very much. Now, Cade Cunningham is learning from the Pistons' bad boy legends. He said the whole time they were talking about nothing soft. What stuck with me more than anything was just about how everybody carried themselves. And it matched why they won so many games. That's something I try to live by. Back to you guys. Well, it's part of that organization, and it is some kind of inspiration. Thanks, David. And now the opening lineup for Phoenix. Duran is out there with Aiton. Then there's Bradley Beal. Then there's Devin Booker. And it's a Kogi in at the three slot. And for Detroit... The backcourt guards are Cunningham and Ivy. Bogdanovich out there with Thompson. And it's Duran in at the five. Now, Greg, a disappointing ending to the playoffs last season, certainly for the Phoenix Sun. Well, came in the top seed in their conference only to make a second round exit after a grueling game seven. So this season might be revenge time for this group. And it's the Suns to start out. Katie against Bogdanovich. Durant, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to go on Boyan Bogdanovich. And never say never, but we might never see another player who combines the length and guard skills of Kevin Durant. He's a player who completely breaks the mold. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling, and the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Ivy kicks to Cunningham. Seven-foot shot. That one, no good. Some solid defense from Aiton. And when you think about Durant's singularity as a player, Steve Kerr said he's more gifted than Michael Jordan. Great. what do you think of that? Well, Steve's had a first-hand view coaching KD and playing alongside Jordan. He didn't say greater, but more gifted. I think it's a conversation. He's an okay long-range shooter, but not with a defender right in his face. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. And this is where Aiden does the most damage. Inside, feels like he can score on anyone. Here's Booker, and the dunk by Booker. He takes advantage of them in every way possible. And Greg, he lures them into a trap on the steal, and then bang, straight to the button. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. Here's Thompson. And it's sent back by KD. Good aggression from KD on D. Hustling to get a hand on the shot. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Kate Cunningham. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. And when you look at the complete game of the Detroit Pistons, there are struggles on both ends of the floor, which I'm sure can feel discouraging at times. Quick start for the Suns in this one. Beal, the pass to Booker. Passes it to KD. Banked in off the glass. Durant's got six points. And looking at the Pistons' recent performance break, which end would you want to see improve first? Kevin, I have to say defense. More stops means more chances in the open floor, and, and it would help them keep games competitive. And the Pistons decide to take their first timeout right here.
in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Now, here's Ivy, defended by Booker. The shot by Ivy, no good. For Phoenix, they've gotten their first three shots to go in for them to start off this game. Here's Booker. Poked loose, stolen by Thompson. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Beal against Cunningham. Durin tipped away. And that's a foul. Called on Bradley Beal. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. the pass to Cunningham and here's Ivy kicks it out to Bogdanovich four on the clock Detroit no good that time either and yeah that old adage about being too wide open not a thing he just missed it well you look at the counting numbers for Cade Cunningham he, he fills up a stat sheet the key for him moving forward though Efficiency. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Threatening with that attack. Aggressive shot from Cunningham inside. Getting to that point blank shot. And you talk about Cade's efficiency. Break on a struggling team. That can be a challenge. Yeah, without great shooters around him, he's forced into taking tough shots or turnovers. And as the team improves, though, I think the percentages should come around. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope, he, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. No good from Booker. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. And a wide open look for Cunningham. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Cunningham's got five points so far. Aiden inside. Uses the glass to finish the lane. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. That bucket in in no time at all. Seven points in the game. Showing confidence with the pull-up. Cunningham has the ability to free himself up and the size to rise above the deep. Booker the pass to KD. Yes, that goes in. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Pistons trail by seven. Cunningham kicks to Ivy. Find to find Thompson. He gets it to him. An emphatic LU jam. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. Booker, no good. Detroit's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Cunningham with it. Now guarded by Aiton. Now, here's Ivy. He's tightly guarded. Cunningham for three. That shot off the mark. Got it off in time. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. Length and quickness. Those are the tools Kay Cunningham uses on the defensive end. And so it's Kevin Durant making headlines and highlights for Phoenix. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. Right back after this break. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Phoenix. Establishing a paint presence early in the game, it really helps and pays big dividends down the line because it frees up your perimeter. And it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball, working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. On Phoenix, look at who they've got on the floor. They've got Bowl. Bradley Beal is out there with Gordon. And it's Eubanks in at the five, down low. Now, here's Burks. Out to Harris. To the middle. Here's Weisman. No good off the back of the rim. Suns leading by seven. 
Bull with it. Outside Gordon. More and more defenses switch everything now, Steve. And if you were coaching, is that how you'd play it? Is that how you would teach it? You know, Kevin, yes. Sometimes you have to switch, but I think the best coaches, what they do best is they show you different looks. And timely, they'll do it. Sometimes they'll trap it. Sometimes they'll hedge to pick and roll. And sometimes they'll just go under. Now here's Gordon. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Pass to Bull. And no good. The Pistons go the other way with it. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. It's deflected. Beal taking his time here. Detroit with the rebound. And here's Burks. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. To the left wing. Here's Wiseman. And Bull pulls it down. Suns lean by seven. It's been a little over a decade, Steve, since the Pistons last made real noise in the playoffs. They've had a tough run of it lately, but rebuilding periods are never pretty, Kevin. They just need time to get back to contender status. And Morris has got the ball here for the Detroit Pistons. Nothing offensively yet from them in the second quarter. It's blocked. And that massive wingspan coming into play there. Ball uses it to perfection to block shots. Now, here's Bull. Gordon, the pass to Eubanks. Misses the layup. He had him with that bump hit. Pistons trail by seven. Now, Burks. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Harris, and he finishes nicely on the way. Unselfish, moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. So for the Pistons, Marvin Bagley's checked in for Stewart. Bogdanovich comes in for Harris. And Ivy subbed in for Burks. And the Suns here with a different look. Watsunabe's checked in for Eubanks. Kevin Durant comes in for Bull. Akogi's checked in for Kata bates Dion, And it's Devin Booker in for Beal. Here's Morris. Rejected by Booker. KD against Bagley. Durant the pass to Watsunabe. Here's Booker, rebounded by the Pistons. Weisman's got his fourth rebound in this one. Morris dishes to Bagley. Back to Morris, beyond the arc. And it's Durant with the rebound. KD's got four rebounds now tonight. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. Well, Kevin Durant learned an important lesson at age 11. His dad cooked him one-on-one, -on -one, dunking on him and talking trash. Durant started crying, and he locked himself in his room, but he came to realize, what am I so mad at? It's good to be passionate, but channel it. Once you're off the court, leave it and go back to being you. Kevin. Great advice. David, thanks. Now, here's Ivy. Not a lot of room. Booker against Cunningham. And like a lot of top picks, Kate Cunningham had to deal with some adversity in his rookie season. Greg, he had been part of winning teams for his entire life. He was introduced to just how competitive the NBA is. But he says it's only sharpened his focus. The first overall pick in the 2021 draft, Kay Cunningham is a special talent. Lots to like about his game. Now here's Booker. Back to Gordon. Inside. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Such an active shooter. Love how Booker gets defenders to try and be physical with him. And they haven't let points get away 
from them at the line tonight. That's always something that will allow a coaching staff to breathe a little easier. Thompson, he's checked in for Detroit. That's a two from Cunningham. Detroit, no good that time either. Woo, the defense gets away with a late rotation. That's a shot he normally makes. Count the basket. Durant's got four points this quarter. One of the all-time scoring greats. Durant is racking up the points tonight. There's nothing you can do to stop it. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Cunningham. Rebound by the Suns. Booker looking around. The shot's good. Booker's got the lead up to 13 now for Phoenix. Not just an outside shooter. Booker is also skilled at getting it done from that area as well. And so it's the Phoenix Suns. 13 points up at the end of the period. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, guys. With head coach Monty Williams, coach, how do you get things going a little bit more offensively? Well, we've got to set screens. We've got to get stops. If we're getting stops, we can play in transition. That opens up a lot for us. Yeah, you guys are hard to beat when you're out and running. We'll see if that happens more. Thanks, coach. Back to you. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. second half upon us we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be what a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant and he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line it's a part of his game that he can always tap into there's an art to it and he is painting the canvas tonight the backcourt guards are Cunningham and Ivy Ogdanovich out there with Durham and it's Thompson in at the three. That's the five to begin the second half for Monty Williams. Now here's Durant. Nice fake with the layup off the mark. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Pistons. Trailing by 13. Pass to Durant. Down low. The kick out to Cunningham. Hands it from downtown. Cunningham's got the first basket of the third quarter for the Pistons. For Cade, consistently knocking down threes, it'll open up the rest of the court. KD sets the pick for Booker. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. And the Suns lead by 13. The Pistons shoot just 26% out there, a terrible showing from an offense capable of much better. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That'll be his second foul of the game. Second half just getting started, about a minute play. Cunningham passes to Thompson. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on eight. Pistons have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. Suns leading by 11. Durant down low. He's covered by Bogdanovich. Now, here's Ivy. Defense is right there. No good on that one. For Phoenix, they've gone one of three since starting the second half. Here's Durant. Kicks it to Aiton. Rob. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Passes it to Ivy. Baseline jumper. 
That's in coming off the assist from Cunningham. Beautiful pass at his size. Cunningham sees the whole floor. A different look here for Detroit. James Wiseman, he's checked in for Duran. Stewart comes in for Bogdanovich. And Monte Morris subbed in for Cunningham. And Phoenix also making a switch. Bowles checked in. Here's a Kogi. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Booker with no one around. Buries it from three-point range. This is a guy who once scored 70 points in a game. Booker doesn't take much for him to start percolating. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his third foul of the game. And now only one away from being in the penalty. And the Pistons making a change here. Works is checked in. Morris with the ball. Now guarded by Booker. Burks can't get it to go. Uncontested look. Can't fault the shot selection. He's money from there. Bowl setting the pick for B. Offline with his three. Pistons trail by 12. GA, he's asked to carry a big time scoring. Run. But Bradley Beal makes his teammates better as well. And that's an area, Kevin, he has really grown. And his playmaking, when the defense overcommits, you make them pay with the pass. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now here's Thompson. They set the screen to the paint. Burks' shot is good. Well, Wiseman's passing game is a work in progress, but he's smart enough to spot the wide open man there. And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drive that happened a moment ago. And I just love his competitiveness. He, he's showing there. Team might be down, but a drive like that could spark them. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Thanks very much. In recent years, the NBA has opened several international academies. Commissioner Adam Silver says huge numbers of people are playing basketball, but unless you take the best at a young age, get them facing elite competition and training under high-pressure circumstances, they won't develop into NBA-caliber players. Kevin? Well, opening doors, David, that's always a good thing. Expansion. Thank you. Beal from deep three-point land. Another three for Phoenix. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Phoenix. Their defense, it's their defense. It has been downright incredible so far. Being disruptive and coming up with steals left and right. And also, you've got to mention the block shots. Playing hard on defense, not allowing shooters to get comfortable. There's Beal with the three. He can't get that one to fall. And it's Detroit the other way. Morris outside. Off target from outside. And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for Phoenix. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Now the pass to Ayton. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. An absolute beast inside. Love how Ayton uses his size to draw these fouls. And he sinks the second. Pistons trail by 21. Here's Cunningham. Here's Bogdanovich. And Bogdanovich throws it down. Yeah, the length and height of Bogdanovich is impressive. Outstanding at slamming it down there when he got the chance. And so it's Devin Booker making highlights for the Sun. He witnessed him delivering a series of three-pointers as he... And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to permit that basket. Creating plays for others, it's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. And Phoenix, look at who they've got on the floor. They've got Bradley Beal. He's out there with Gordon. And it's Eubanks in at the center. Cunningham for three. 
Yes, it is. Or that is a bucket. Number five on a five for 11 night. You could see it in his body language. Cunningham wanted to get those three points back. There's Gordon with the three. Bagley with the rebound. And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have to have the confidence to take that shot. It might not always fall. You know what another option is? Just give the ball up. Let someone else make a play. Devin Booker, he's checked in for Phoenix. Now, here's Cunningham. Bogdanovich, that's for two. Good, and the assist goes to Cunningham. Cunningham's got three assists tonight. Oh, no, he may have gotten injured right there. He's in a lot of pain. And I feel like we see this all too often. Injuries, they, they play such a big part of the game. Well, the explosive moments, the quick change of direction, a lot of stress put on the body. The Pistons making a change here. Weissman's checked in. Beal against Cunningham. Booker outside. Buries the long-range jumper. Booker's got 12 points here in the second half. And you can tell he's looking for his shot. He just believes it. You know why? Success breeds confidence. And he's certainly been successful from there time and time again. Here's KD. Good work there as it goes. Durant with those long arms able to attack the defense while protecting the ball. Pass to Wiseman. Now, here's Ivy. Defended by Booker. Cunningham for three. Good for basket number seven tonight on a not-so-unlucky 13 shots. His team hasn't picked up the slack, but he's doing everything he can do to win this game for them. So much of rebound is about position. Effort. No lack of it right there. And Bogdanovich kicks to Cunningham. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. And so the ball is out of bounds. Bogdanovich touched it last. Thompson, he's checked in for Detroit. And Phoenix also making a switch. Bowl, he's checked in for Eubanks. Suns leading by 17. It's Beal on the wing. Driving in. It's just such a high IQ. Bill using the bounce to get to the line where he's just a fantastic free throw shooter. Stewart's checked in for Marvin Bagley. And the Suns also making a change. Akogi's checked in. Here's Ivy. He dishes it to Cunningham. To the inside. And the dunk by Stewart. Great move by Isaiah Stewart to find a lane to the rim. So powerful. And then Durant with the dunk. A one-man show offensively, and that's almost always good news for his team. Now, here's Ivy. Defended by Booker. Ivy dishes to Weissman. That one good for two. And just wait until Wiseman has time to develop his moves, which are still somewhat raw at this stage. And then Durant with the jam. Oh, why dunk you very much. <laughs> he, he can really fly, and you combine that, Greg, with some nice penetration, too, and you've got two points. Here's Weisman. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. And you got to respect how quickly Wiseman has adapted to big league play. He hit the ground running and has not looked back. Always growing as a player. Andre Ayton's checked in for Kevin Durant. Suns leading by 17. A nice shot by Booker. Booker's got five points now this quarter. Well, credit them for maintaining that aggression, even being up this much. They don't want to leave no chance for a comeback. Just focus on playing the right way. Here's Beal. Here's Bull. And the shot is long. Detroit has gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for Phoenix.
In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching many lucky breaks themselves. Yeah, and, and Kevin, not all about luck. I thought their overall shot selection was better. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Devin Booker. He was doing everything right, and the points came in bunches. Definitely had the hot heat. DeAndre. Second personal foul, 13-5. And the first one drops. A different look here for Detroit. Harris has checked in for Thompson. And it's Burks in for Cade Cunningham. And the Suns here with a different look. Eubanks, he's checked in for DeAndre Ayton. Watsonabe comes in for Bull. Cade Bates, Diops checked in for Josh Okogie. And Eric Gordon subbed in for B. You have to be very careful when you're guarding Gordon. He's adept at putting pressure on the defense. Detroit making a switch here. Morris has checked in. Pass to Stewart. Back to Morris. Dishes it to Wiseman. Rejected by Booker. Here's Bates Diop, guarded by Harris. Burks against Gordon. And again, it's the Suns missing. Here's Morris. So it's the Suns winning easily here. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. Yeah, that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Kevin, how did you guys get this win tonight? Well, we had to get stops. You know, those guys, they got so many options, so many good players, man. We just had to rally around each other and get stops. Yeah, you guys played your best ball at the end and got the win. Congratulations. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, Devin Booker.